Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just got home actually from clinicals and realized there was no food at home. Well, there was food, but just no food that I can eat because it was sausage and I'm not eating pork right now. So anyways, I was gonna work out, but honestly, I'm like not feeling it because I worked out yesterday and my biceps are super sore. Now I was gonna do upper body today and my knee hurts too so I can't do lower body so I'm just gonna take the day off um, but you guys I have an update for you today well this week is my last week of clinicals which is so exciting I did an eight-hour day today so I have 179 hours completed out of 180 so yay I'm so happy today my preceptor was like are you gonna be coming back and I'm like well if you guys take me back so he was just like talk to the manager and see if they if she's okay with taking you back and I'm like okay because of you know the whole like safety issue and like exposure and all that like they were trying to limit as many people to go into the clinic but I mean I take my own mask and everything so hopefully she'll be okay with taking me back I also got an email this morning from the lady I had emailed last night so if you guys didn't watch my previous video I talked about how I got an email address for a contact at a local clinic um, well, it's like an organization because they have multiple clinics throughout here, like throughout the different cities. So I got an email address and I emailed her last night and she sent me a package. And I didn't realize that they actually are affiliated with the school that I'm attending. But I could only request to do one rotation there. So I'm going to do women's health. Well, I'm going to apply for women's health rotation there. See if they have any buddy that will take me. I think they have like... It has to be at least over 20 different clinics. So at this point, like I said, I'm probably going to check them all off. Take me everywhere. I'll go anywhere. But hopefully it's more locally, especially with the gas prices, which is crazy. But anyways, um, I'm going to do that sometime this week. I was going to do it today, but I need to like get everything together. My letter of recommendation. I have to write why I wanted... Um, be a part of their preceptor program like why that specific organization so yeah i mean i have to think i can't just you know like send random stuff like i actually have to think and type something up so i'll work on it this week but at least there's some hope and i'm so happy that i mean there's a possibility that i can do my clinicals again um, for family practice at least that one I say I have it secured but I still have to talk to the manager so it's not really like for sure you know but I'm moving forward and I'm making at least some progress with this preceptor search because it's hard you guys it is very hard especially women's health anyways I'm gonna go buy some food because I'm freaking hungry I'm not gonna work out today like I said and I'm probably just gonna get like a chicken sandwich or something I don't know unless I change my mind like on my way there and decide to go somewhere else who will see though I'll show you guys off to work today I feel like I brought so many things like I brought my work bag because I have my big old binder in here with like everything I um, need because I have like the policies and like my notes because sometimes I'll like forget what the heck I need to do even though I've been there a year it's like I still have questions so I refer back to my notes brought my big old water from my coffee literally just like a little bit of Nespresso pod um the coffee pod well I think it's an espresso pod it only gave me like two ounces or something like that like very little and then my lunch which I kind of just grabbed whatever was there 
um, because I didn't plan my lunch. I was like, I'll just have a tuna sandwich. And then I brought like some clothes. I brought some clothes and shoes for after work because I'm going to change at work because I'm going out to dinner with my friend. Oh, God. So I brought a bunch of stuff. Um, and I'm like, am I really going to carry all that inside? Probably not. It's just too much. But I woke up late this morning, but I slept so freaking good that I don't really care if I'm a little late because I slept so good, you guys. So, so good. I needed that. Um, I have like a big old knot in the top of my back, like by my shoulder blade, probably because of the exercise. And I did a little bit like of massage on there yesterday and it feels a little better, but the knot is still there but at least it feels a little better and i just needed it like i was just so sore so anyways you guys so let's go to work let's have a good day you guys today is the day it's my last day of clinicals i'm only going to be doing a morning shift and honestly i'm just so happy and so excited that it's almost over clinicals is over but i still have to do my final this weekend um and then i still have to take another exam next week so i mean it's not completely over but at least clinicals is over i got my coffee with my protein shake and i want to just not take so much time eating breakfast so i just grab a protein bar too I'm going to make sure that all my hours are correct before I take off because it would really suck if I'm like missing an hour or something, you know what I mean? And then I have to go back and finish my hours. I hear this. I'm like, where is it? So he has to sign off every day on all my hours and my patients. I just write down the number of hours and patients. It's not like, it has to be like exactly like how many peds or anything like that. How many adults, so. Mm. I still owe you guys the clinical bag video. Like what's in my clinical bag? So I am gonna be making that video. I think this weekend for you guys so that it's up sometime this month. But anyways, let me check this out really quick. Make sure everything is okay. I'm just going to enjoy my coffee really quick. I want to leave probably like in the next 15 minutes. I want to leave my house. Also, if you're wondering, because I was having a little bit of problem trying to figure out exactly what I was going to give my preceptor. So I got him a gift card from a fancy restaurant that we went to last night and it was really good. I know he likes to eat from there. So I'm like, let's get him a gift card from there. So just something very simple because I was like, oh my god, what am I going to give him? But I ended up getting him that. Hopefully he'll be happy with that. I'm going to go buy the donuts. I think I'm going to uh, stop here somewhere locally. Oh, by the way, these are the, these are another type of mask that I bought. And it feels just as comfortable as the previous one. Um, if you didn't see my previous video, I'll link it down below. Any video that is related to this type of content I link down in the description box so I will put the video where I talk about the other mask that I bought from Amazon Do you see this one this is my second rotation 183 hours 92 hours of peeps 91 hours of family practice I am so happy I'm done shop had a good little time with my cousin but oh my god my door is opening that is so creepy hold on so i went to the coffee shop today because i told my cousin like i want to go to get some coffee and you want to go after your work so as soon as she got out of work i met her there 
and we we went to this coffee shop like Saturday you guys saw it in a previous vlog so like they're familiar with us because they know we go there pretty often but my cousin knew that today was my last day of clinicals so she asked them to put a congratulations like like I don't know what it's called like a banner on the slice of cake that I got but I didn't know that she was doing this when all of a sudden I see like this cake as you guys just saw right here it's like a cake with a candle and um it said like congratulations and an hb like for happy birthday and then the owners were singing happy birthday to me and i was like oh my god it's not even my birthday and they're like singing but i didn't say anything and i was just like thank you like thanks but it's not my birthday like what do you tell people like it's not my birthday um it's just like a congratulations for finishing clinicals but that was so sweet and a little embarrassing <laughs> so anyways you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe ring the bell for notifications and i will see you guys on the next video